Uh, our next speaker is Kristen. She is the CEO of the Breast Cancer Network Australia, and she was appointed as a CEO in March 2018. She has an exceptional understanding of the cancer sector, having spent over a decade at BCNA and five years at Cancer, Cam sorry, cancer Council in Victoria, where she was responsible for delivering communications campaigns around prevention measures. Please join me in welcoming Kristen. Tell a story that made a real impact. 
I did not have to convince them with words that I could do my job. My figures and measures showed I could, and no one can ever argue with the facts. So fast forward to my role now as CEO with Veronica, who challenges me every day. Um, now I have to make decisions how we best support Australians who have been diagnosed with breast cancer. I can't make decisions on what I think or what my gut tells me. I have to make decisions on what we spend money on that will provide the very best support to our members. There are so many things that I would love to do to help our women uh, who have been diagnosed, but I have to decide where we will invest, what we will do and what we are going to do. And I can only make these decisions on using maths and science to help me. That includes reading complex research documents and understanding probability and numbers, just like this one. And I have to translate this research and make it understandable to other people who may not have studied like we have. But also I get reports every single day in what we're doing and whether it's working. And here's an example of my dashboard that welcomes me every morning. What are our members looking at online about breast cancer? How many are clicking from one page to another? Are we giving them the answers to the questions that they have when they come to our website? What important information are they not reading because it's too hard to find, or may we have may have written it in the wrong way? Using data to make the very best decisions for the smallest amounts of funds that we have. And I'm currently working on a project where we'll be using artificial intelligence to be able to serve up the right information at the right time for all of our members who've been diagnosed. So I thought about today, and I never really thought that I would use so much maths and science in my everyday life. And this is a quote that I really loved. I failed in some subjects in exams, but my friend passed in all. Now he's an engineer, sorry, in Microsoft, and I'm the owner of Microsoft. So I may have failed in many of my commerce uh, and statistics, but now I'm a CEO using and loving maths and statistics every day for good. So next weekend on August 12, my greatest maths quest will come to life. How do I fit 18,000 people in the shape of a pink lady on the MCG? I want you to turn to the person next to you now and just think about what other maths considerations I would need to think about to make this shape and fit all of these people in to the MCG.
across Australia and in fact the world. We will go live on Facebook. And I'll be so proud of every single maths and science decision we made to make the perfect pink lady on the MCG. So even if you don't think you're a scientist, I am proof that maths and science matters in everything you do. So you know what? Next time when you're finding it a little bit hard, just remember that every minute you spend in STEM will make a difference. And that is my promise to you. Thank you very much.